Okay, so this Saturday morning action cartoon review comes from Eddie Wise, and his request was a Transformers Generation 1. Now, quick note, I'm not sure if I've ever made this clear on my channel, but if some can tell by the past shows I've reviewed, you'll know that I'm not an 80s child, because most of my childhood memories were of the mid-90s to early 2000s, which means I'm not too knowledgeable about cartoons from the 80s. However, I've already bought the complete DVD set a while back, so Eddie, if you wonder why it took me so long to review this, it's because I've spent a lot of time watching this show, but not too much time because I have a life outside of just talking and watching cartoons. But anyways, let's begin the review. So Transformers Generation 1 was created in 1984 by Hasbro, who still owns it today. Now, side note, this series review does not count the movie, or the multiple sequel series that came after it. It's just gonna be a review on the series itself. Now, the premise of the series was that a giant shape-shifting robots have been in a civil war for a long time, that they use all of their energy resource and travel the Earth to get more. The Autobots are obviously the good guys who side with the humans, obviously, if you know the franchise. And their goal is to stop the evil Decepticons. Now, I'm not really going to talk about the characters all that much because if you know the franchise, then you'll know your usual Transformers in the Autobots and Optimus Prime who is the leader, Bumblebee and Ratchet, and the Decepticon members in Megatron and Starscream. Now, the story for Generation 1 is over 35 hours long, so recapping it all would be a total nightmare. However, it is a worthwhile watch. And fans everywhere can find a lot of enjoyment out of the series. There is actually a surprising amount of emotional depth to a lot of these episodes, especially those found in Season 3 and 4. Without spoiling too much, Optimus Prime's departure leaves an impact no matter how many times you see it. And the episodes that force both sides to band together are griping to say the least. It's hard to underestimate the power of nostalgia that this series has had on fans over the years. That's not to say that it's vital, but the animation and the storytelling aren't up to par with today's standards. Obviously, it is easy to forgive a show that is over 30 years of being outdated, but Transformers sometimes suffers from disjointed storytelling, including skipping over sections of the plot or even sometimes having entire episodes appear out of sequence. This disjointedness can put off some viewers, especially if you didn't grow up with the particular style, but I'd still say this show is good and worth watching. Much like many shows from the 80s, this show was clearly meant to sell toys, and the show definitely achieved that. And since this show, Transformers has become a very iconic franchise, and if it wasn't for this, then we would have never gotten Beast Wars, Prime, and even the crappy Bayformer movies. Ugh. I'd say if you just want to watch a Transformers show and don't mind some of the 80s cheesiness, then a Transformers the Generation 1 is worth your time. Transformers the Generation 1 gets a 7.5 out of 10. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.